Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. So today we're going to do something a little bit different. Um, this is my very first budget cash stuffing video, but I thought, you know what? My channel is Sam Plans It All. This is a huge part of what I'm planning right now. It's super important to me, and so I wanted to share it with you. So um, I am starting from zero. I'm setting up my revolving cash envelope system and my sinking funds and I thought maybe you guys could uh, come along and do that with me today. So I have already figured how much cash I need and that is $1,160. So we'll set that up. One, two, 250. No. Oh God, guys, 350. <laughs> Do I need coffee? It's the middle of the afternoon. 350, 370, 390, 4. Cuz that's easier for me. 20, 40, 60, 85, 20, 40, 60, 86, 20, 40, 60, 87, 20, 40, 60, 88, 20, 40, 60, 89. 20, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 1,000. So we'll put that in there. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 1. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70. <laughs> I'm already such a fail. <laughs> okay. We'll see where this takes us, okay? We'll see where this takes us. If we have a little left, then... It is what it is. Okay. So, the first thing we're going to stuff is my revolving uh, cash envelopes, which are the ones that I'm in every month back and forth, stuffing all the time, you pull out of all the time, like groceries and eating out. That kind of stuff is revolving, you put in, you take out every month, you're not saving up for one specific um, event. Like sinking funds, like Easter is a sinking fund because Easter comes once a year, you're trying to save money for it. Okay, so um, you probably saw in the description that we are a six figure income family. Um, but just because we have a six figure income doesn't mean that we don't need to budget because my husband and I are terrible spenders and it's time to get our ish under control and do better. So we're going to start cash stuffing. So the first thing is groceries. Um, and that is going to be $600 and that's for two weeks. My husband gets paid every two weeks. So I will do cash stuffing every two weeks. So for those two weeks, it's $600. And I know that that sounds like a lot, um, but we are a family of seven in the house and our toddler, if you haven't watched me before, um, our toddler is spe spe <laughs> special needs and about $100 a week goes to his needs. So really it's about $200 for groceries for six of us. So it's really not that crazy. So one, two, three, 20, 40, 60, 84, 20, 40, 60, 85, 20, 40, 60, 86. I know I'm going to catch grief for the grocery money, but I have two teenage boys. <laughs> it's just, they eat a lot of food. Okay, so next, birthdays. Um, birthdays, I want to have um, 150 a month, which is 1800 a year. Oops, I didn't write this in here. 600 for groceries. So for birthdays, like I said, we've, we've got eight kids all together. Our daughter's already out of the house. Um, and we have a birthday every month except March and November, but there's two in February, two in June, and two in October. So 
everybody gets about $150 for their birthday. So I go ahead and just stuff $150 a month into birthdays. So this first one is $75. I'm excited for this. I'm so excited for this. Okay, the next one is clothes. Oh, I need to get these in order, girl. Clothes is going to get $100 a month. So we're going to do 50 Oh, look at that raggedy 10 Ugh. <laughs> we're going to do 50 for this one. And that does include their back-to-school clothes. We'll come out of that. Cars, really it's vehicles. Um, my car is an 09. My husband has a couple vehicles and they're older too. So I like to have money always put away. Let me rephrase that. I am going to like to have money put away for our vehicles, for tires, oil changes, that kind of thing. Um, I just had to replace all the tires on my car and it was like $900. So this at $80 a month is going to end up being $960 a year. And hopefully we don't have to pull out of that very often. Piggies. We have two guinea pigs. So I'm going to just put a little bit of money aside each month. We're going to do $20 a month. So $10 every paycheck in case they need to go to the vet. Or they need something special. This is my back to the bank envelope. Um, and that's for like I buy groceries online and do grocery pickups. So obviously I'll pay with my card. So then I'll pull the cash out of here and it will go back into the bank. So that's what that envelope is for. Um, these are for starting savings accounts for my kids. Because we don't have any money saved for our kids. I've just never thought about it and I feel really guilty about that so I'm going to start saving money for the kids so this one is Phoenix he's 16 Brayden is 13 Octane is 10 Tegan is 8 and Quentin is 2 um, our oldest daughter is already out of the house so she's SOL <laughs> sorry Raven <laughs> so now I'm going to move on to sinking funds. Um, and these are the ones that, like I said, you want to save a certain amount for a certain thing. Um, and you don't like put in and pull out all the time. So my first one is Valentine's Day. And that is going to be $20 a month. So we're going to do 10. And the way I figured that is um, $240 a year, which is $40 per kid. At Valentine's so I don't think that that's terrible so we're gonna stuff ten dollars in my Valentine's Day envelope and if you're wondering what these are I got a couple of thousands ready to go because eventually I'm gonna need thousands in a couple of my envelopes but not for a while <laughs> so Easter is going to be um, uh, $30 a month, which will end up being $350 a year, and that is $60 per kid per basket, and then $50 for, like, the eggs and the candy and stuff. So we'll do $15 for this paycheck, and then the 4th of July is going to get $10, which will be $20 a month which will be $240. And a lot of these numbers I just pulled because like this is what we've spent before or it's what I would like to knock it down to to get to, right? So like for the July, it's easy to spend, you know, 400 bucks on fireworks. So <laughs> um we're going to take that down to 240 and we're only going to use what we have stuffed in our envelopes. So, back to school gets 20, which is 40 a month. Um, and that's for their back to school supplies. We have four in school right now. High school, middle school, and two grade school. Um, 
and I just I want to be prepared for their back to school supplies. Enrollment and fees will get twenty five, which is fifty a month. Um, it costs about four hundred dollars to enroll the kids, and then the older boys play sports, so there's another couple hundred dollars in sports fees. So that's why it says enrollment and fees. Um, and that'll end up being about $600 through the year. The next one is, oh my gosh, I'm not filling these out, you guys. I'm a failure. We did a Valentine's. And we did back to school. And we did enrollment. And we did 4th of July. You guys are probably freaking out on me right now. <laughs> I'm really sorry. Um, did the pigs, I feel like. Yes. Sweet Lord above. I am not on it. I promise I'll be more together next time. Okay. This is my first time. Don't be too hard on me. So school picks is going to be at five which is 10 a month, and that's for when they have school pictures done. I like to buy them once a year. Uh, Halloween is next, and it gets 10, so that'll be 20 a month, um, which ends up being $240, which is $48 a kid, and then if they don't spend all that on their costume, then we use that towards candy for trick-or-treaters so Christmas and this is another one I know I'm gonna catch grief um, I'm a big spender at Christmas time I spend about four thousand dollars at Christmas every year um, and that's my husband and I our six kids our grandson my mom and my brother and his mom and then I always take several hundred dollars out of that and give to our community whether it's food drives or the angel tree or maybe I just have a friend that's struggling um some I don't have a giving envelope because I always give several hundred dollars at Christmas um and right now that's just working for me and if I find later that I need a giving envelope I'll start one but so Christmas is going to be 175 20 40 60 80, 1, 20, 40, 50, 60, 70, and 5. So that is 350 a month. Yes, it's a lot. Please don't come at me with, you could pay down debt with that. You could give that. I know. I know. But this is what I like to do. My love language is giving and my kids don't get crap throughout the year. Like, we don't just buy them stuff. So, this is where we, like, go crazy as a Christmas. And it is what it is. That's what works for our family. Okay, New Year's Eve balls. You're probably thinking, what is that? We play these games on New Year's Eve where you, like, wrap stuff up in saran wrap like saran wrap balls and the whole family plays and it's so much fun and we do food and we do little trinkets and all kinds of stuff in there and it just is a blast and so I'm saving $30 a month for that which will end up being $360 for stuff to put in those um saran wrap balls and I'm really excited for this one because usually like after Christmas you're broke and then we don't have a lot of money to spend on that so I'm excited for those um Jamaica I had already been saving some money my husband and I are going to Jamaica on uh, June of 2022 so I just have 220 45 dollars saved anything extra that I end up with I always just put it aside for this but now I have an envelope for it so those are my sinking funds oh my gosh you guys are gonna 
cancel me before I even get started. I had a school lunches envelope. Um, and then I found out that our state extended free lunches for all kids this year, which is great because that's going to save us like $500 a month. Um, so I'm really thankful for that. Um, like I said, the guinea pigs, they cost me about $40 every two weeks, give or take a little for their hay and their pellets, um, their, their bedding in the litter box, like their vegetables and stuff just comes right out of my grocery budget. Um, but I do like to have $40 for them for their other things and that goes straight into my wallet. And then I also do about $60 every two weeks for eating out. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. I knew I was over. I can't count. Um, $60 is like one time of eating out for our family since there's so many of us. Uh, so this is like one time of eating out every two weeks. So we're going to try this. And this, like I said, just goes straight into my wallet because I do pay for cash and I don't want to like leave this at home. So yeah, guys, so there's 40 for the pigs, 60 for eating out. Um, that gives us a total of $1,160 in our sinking funds slash cash envelopes. I'm so excited about it. Thank you guys for joining me. Oh, and hey, if some of you are seasoned cash envelope stuffers, tell me about challenges that you do. I've seen like the dollar bill challenge, the $5 bill challenge, um, the hundred envelope challenge, those kind of things. What do you do? And then what do you do with that money when you're done? Where does that money go? Do you put it towards savings? Do you put it towards debt? Do you some, do something nice for yourself? I would really like to know. Um, cause I think I'd like to do one of those, but I don't know what. So give me your suggestions. Tell me if there's anything I could do to make this better. I'm learning. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for joining me and I will see you soon. Bye guys.